When I was the artistic director of the National Arts Festival, I was asked the question, are you going to stage Serafina in 2016 uh, because of the Feast for Small Movement and that it's an appropriate time to stage the work and to be able to reflect on what happened in 76 and once again students are back on the streets uh, fighting for education. My immediate response to that question was no. If I was going to say Serafina, it was not because you saw some kind of relevance that you wanted to write into it. I would be interested in staging Serafina because I want to know what's the intention of the, of, the, of the author of the work and the creator of the work. And I'm also interested in staging the work because it is bigger than just a particular moment in time. I'm interested in work that resonates beyond that particular moment. And for me, Serafina is that kind of work that resonates beyond those little epic moments that we find in our history. So it was not going to be work for 2016 because Fees was for was not going to end there. We knew that it was going to continue and continue. One of the key things for me about Serafina was that when Sibongeni Ngema uh, wrote his epic line, Freedom is coming tomorrow, that resonated with me very, very strongly in terms of why I was not going to stage the work last year, just to be politically correct in terms of my program. Because I think as South Africans, we all know little terms like now, 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 just now. <laughs> And what Propaganda Gamer did is he did not say freedom is coming now. Yeah. He said freedom is coming tomorrow. That tomorrow was a metaphor. Yes. It's a metaphor that we needed to continue to work on all the time. And I'm quite confident that this work will resonate even 10 years from now, even 15 years from now, and even 20 years from now. Because freedom is not one moment in history. It's a lifetime dream that generations and generations must cherish and continue to fight for.